Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is conditional split transformation in SSIS? Let's open SSDT or BIDS or whatever we have according to the version installed on our system. So as you guys can see that right now I'm in the control flow. In the control flow these are the tasks available to us. To see the transformation we have to go to the data flow pane or data flow task. So I grab the data flow task on the control, control flow pane and opening it right now. Uh, now in the data flow task uh, what we have we have to read the data from the source in this case I'm going to read the data from a SQL uh, server table and then uh, we implement transformation and finally write the data to the destination uh, there could be multiple transformation you will be you using uh, uh, while uh, uh, reading the data from us see from a source and uh, uh, finally writing the data to the destination in this case we are reading the data from a customer table that has the first name, last name, address, phone number, region, code, uh, columns. Let's go back and take a look of the data. So we have different region codes available here. And we have a you know first name and last name and address columns. Uh, hit OK. Now the next part is bring the conditional split and connect your OLEDB source to the conditional split. As, we, as you can see that there is only one input to the conditional split. But conditional split generate multiple outputs like multicast. But the, there is a major difference between that. Multicast create the exact replica what it received on the input to the outputs. But conditional split will split the rows depending on the conditions. So it will not generate the two outputs the same row. So let's open it. Now here, if we want to divide it, uh, let's say we have region code. And if our region code is uh, AS, uh, we want to call this output Asia. And then uh, next part, uh, if uh, our region code is equal to NA, we want to call or redirect all those rows uh, to the North America output. And everything else we have a uh, SA South Asia we have a uh, EU Europe and all those columns I don't care but only these outputs I want to create on one side and everything else I want to go to the, this default output so I can call it um, default output so now it is generating three outputs for us and dividing the rows according to the condition what we have here. It's going to check the condition for the row if it is uh, region code is equal to AS then it will send to a Asia output uh, then uh, that if that's not applicable it is going to check the next condition for North America if that's not applicable then it's going to send the uh, record to the default output. Now for the test purpose I'm going to bring three multicast here as I'm creating three outputs. The purpose of a multicast here is just for the test purpose so I can um, connect the output of a condition split to some transformation and show you the data. I'm going to connect with the first one, Asia, second one, North, Amer uh, North America, and then, then we have last one, that's the default output. So what I have in the table, we have four records let's go and we have four records one is for asia one is for north america and the three are they will be going to default so let's run this package and see the output as we can see that we have one record on Asia side, one record on the North America side and three records to the default output. Uh, if you want to take more look and uh, see your records you can put uh, data viewer real quick between them and then you will be able to see the records uh, right here. Click here and then click on the last one and then put the data viewer. Let's run our SSIS package and see the output. As we have three outputs, so we it created three uh, data viewers. And first one, it uh, moved to the we we can see that Asia data viewer, and the second one we can see North America data viewer. Only one record, one record, and the default has three records. So that's how conditional split work. And uh, there are multiple um, requirements, uh, or there would be a lot of requirements uh, to use this uh, uh, conditional split transformation in your packages. Uh, you will see pretty much uh, you know uh, 
every package you use these uh, kind of transformations especially when it comes to multicast conditional uh, condition split uh, um, uh, and uh, lookups uh, they are very uh, heavily used transformations in SSIS thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video